hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so in this video like we would be doing the aptitude questions that came into the infinity cube qualifying section so these are first five questions that came for me in when i practiced the mock test that is the sample test okay so it says that a shop stores x kg of rice the first customer buys half this amount plus half a kg of rice the second customer buys half the remaining amount plus half a kg of rice then the third customer also buys half the remaining amount plus half a kg of rice thereafter no rice is left in the shop which of the following best describes the value of x okay and the values of x are given in a range so basically there would be a specific set of like specific value of x and we need to find that value so basically here three customer came into a shop they bought the rice and after the third customer the shop is empty that is there is no rice left into the shop okay so let's start let's say rice was initially x kg okay like then first customer came and he bought half this amount that is half of uh, x kg correct that would be 1 by 2 of x plus 1 by 2 1 by 2 by because half a plus it also purchases half a kg of rice now now how much would be the remaining amount remaining amount would be x minus this much that is half of x plus half now when you would solve it it would come like 2x minus x minus 1 by 2 that is basically x by 2 minus 1 by 2 now suppose this value is equals to y okay now second customer would come how much would he purchase he would purchase half of y plus 0 0.5 correct so he would purchase y by 2 plus 1 by 2 now how much it would be remaining uh, remaining would be y by 2 minus 0 0.5 or let's say y by 2 minus 1 by 2 why this much would be remaining because when the second see first of all uh, after the first customer bought it was y after the second the second customer bought how much y by 2 plus y by 1 by 2 then the remaining would be y by 2 minus y by 2 correct because this is how much the second customer bought okay now let's see for third customer now third customer suppose let me see it to be said now how much third customer would buy third customer would buy remaining of the this like half of this half of this that is 1 by 2 of z plus half kg correct now how much would be remaining now again like remaining would be z by 2 minus 0 0.5 which is of course equals to 0 because in the question it states that thereafter no rice is left in the shop that is after the third customer purchases then no rice is left correct so here we can get the value of z that is value of z would be z equals to zero point five into two which is equals to one correct now we can similarly find the value of y here it's written 
y by 2 minus 1 by 2 equals to z so we can write here y minus 1 equals to 1 into 2 therefore y equals to 3 correct now similarly we can also find the value of x now here it's written x by 2 minus 1 by 2 equals to y so x minus 1 by 2 equals to y into 2 that is 3 into 2 that is 6 correct now here is 2 will be cancelled now this gives the value of x equals to 6 plus 1 which is equals to 7 so this is our answer x equals to 7 and this value would be in this option so this is the correct option okay let's move on to the second question now it says that a lotion maker has to mix three perfume fragrances each mask white lily with three moisturizers shea butter vitamin e and flower seed oil and fill them in three boxes white pink and yellow Correct. let me change the color ones okay so it's saying now each perfume must be mixed with one of the lotions so there are three perfumes three moisturizers and each perfume must be mixed with one of the lotions okay now the second condition says that the mixture containing sage must be filled in the white box now let's write sage it's saying that it should be uh, we don't know the moisturizer let let write xx for that and must be filled in the white box okay so this is our second condition since third condition says that musk is mixed with vitamin e but this mixture cannot be filled in the yellow box musk is filled with oh, vitamin let's write this much only but this cannot be filled in yellow box so we will write cross yellow okay because this cannot be filled in the yellow box we don't know which box but we cannot definitely fill it with yellow box okay the mixture containing shea butter must be filled in the yellow box okay so this is now shea butter here comes the shea butter and it's saying that it must be filled in the yellow box okay now see what we have left sage is there musk is there okay musk cannot be filled in the yellow box so of course this cannot musk cannot be here so now remaining option we have is white lily only okay white lily okay so now white and yellow has been used so of course there should be only they can be only pink so this is the correct chart according to which now the white box consists of which of the following uh, white box consists of sage and of course here comes the flower seed oil so we would be writing flower seed oil this is the correct answer for this question Okay, let's move on to the third question. The average score of Rahul Dravid in a certain number of innings is 43. He then played another 8 innings in which he scored this much. What is the new average of Dravid after those 8 innings? Okay. So because first of all, we don't know the total number of innings, we cannot determine that new average could be higher, lower or whatever. Correct. But we can still say the new average is same when could we say the new average is same when the summation of this divided by 8 we get 43 so this is the tricky part of this question now when you uh, do the sum of all those numbers since i have already did it so i know that when you would be doing the sum it would come as 344 i think yeah 
and 344 when you would divide by 8 then it would give you 43 so of course the new average would be same okay let's move on to the fourth question Anil borrowed a total of 400 USD from two lenders with SIE at the rate of 5 and 7 respectively okay if the total interest paid for three years was 696 how much did you borrow from the second lender at seven percent so see it's asking for second lender at seven percent per annum okay uh, now suppose two amount could be we could say it as one amount could be four thousand and the uh, sorry one account amount could be x and the other amount could be 4000 minus x correct okay now suppose we say x p into r into t t is 3 years by 100 suppose we say it to be y and the another equation would be 4000 minus x into 7 into 3 by 100 equals to z correct now what we know these are the interest of the first person this is the interest of the second person now we can say that y plus z equals to 696 because it's already mentioned total interest correct so now we simply have to add all those and equate it to 696 so that is 15x by 100 plus 4000 minus x into 7 into 3 that is 21 4000 into 21 that is 84000 correct minus 21x divide by 100 equals to 696 now this would be 15 minus 21x that is 6x minus 6x plus 84,000 equals to 696,00 now 84,000 minus 6,000 and when you would equate it you would get the value of x as 2400 correct so now this is the value of x and the value of x is for 5% per annum we have to find the value of 4000 minus x because this is the borrowed money off from the second lender so it would be 4000 minus x which is equals to 1600 so this would be our answer okay let's move on to the fifth question 20 men were employed to do some work in a certain time but when one third of scheduled time was over it was found that only one fourth of the total work was completed how many more men should now be employed to complete the work in three fourths of the group? Okay. So now what we have been provided here, number of men, we could say it as M1 equals to 20. Mm. We have, we got the first time one by third, that is one by three. And we also know W1, which is one by four correct now now it says that how many more men should be employed so suppose more men is denoted by m2 which is equals to 20 plus x correct uh, now new time we see earlier we have to complete the work in t time that is whole one time correct t time but now we have to complete the work in 3 by 4 of time 3 by 4 of t correct and we have already used utilized 1 by 3rd of our time so our new time that is t2 would be equals to um, 3 by 4 minus 1 by 3 correct so this would be equals to 12 3 4 okay this would be equals to 5 by 12 
no new work w2 equals to to complete the work in three uh, found only one fourth of the total work was completed correct earlier one fourth was completed now the new work would be one minus one by four that is three by four now we have all the values m1 d1 w1 m2 d2 w2 now you know the formula m1 d1 by w1 equals to m2 d2 by w2 and when you, you will place the values and get the answer you would get the value of x as 28 okay so here 28 is the correct answer okay so this was the part one of all the aptitude question like there were 10 aptitude question i saw currently five and i will soon be posting another video with another five aptitude questions okay thank you so much for watching this video if you have any queries or any other question people regarding the infosys tcs or any other companies then please post it out in the comment section given below thank you